Here's Yamamoto last year in Japan 23 appearances 16 and 6. Facing Simeon. And his first pitch is popped up down the right field side. That'll be foul and strike one. Well, where do you begin? I mean, this guy is perhaps the most decorated pitcher to come out of Japan in quite, quite some time. Little number foul, third base side facing Semyon, who was a World Series hero last year, had a home run in the ninth inning of game five in the series clincher. But Yamamoto, he pitched in the Japan Series last year, struck out 14 in game six after getting touched up in game one. He came back and pitched very strongly, but his team, the Oryx Buffaloes, would end up losing to the Hanshin Tigers in seven games. Here's the two strike pitch and Simeon takes low and in. Well, what are we looking for. Well uh, the first thing is you look at it a rather simplified and yet repeatable delivery. One thing I've already noticed. When he comes set. Looking in for the sign. Center field camera. I could tell the previous pitch. Before this one we see here. It was a splitter. Why. You can see it in the glove. A swing and a miss. Throws a fastball right by Marcus Simeon. He's got some giddy up on that heater. That's what Dave Roberts is talking about. The electric fastball. One down. Yamamoto also one of the few pitchers in baseball. I remember seeing works off the middle of the pitching slab, not off a corner. Evan Carter. Throws one to center field. That's going to get down for a hit. One hop to the center fielder, Drew Avis. And Tim, the reason, one of the reasons I talked about from the center field camera, at least in the windup, won't be able to see it in the stretch. You can see the grip on the baseball. Well, that's one of the rules that baseball has now is that look, you can no longer use electronic devices to get signs or signals or pitches in, in the dugout. Out of the stretch for the first time is Yamamoto facing Wyatt Langford. Langford takes a healthy cut and misses. Langford. Pitch that kind of had some arm side run came inside to him. Langford talked about going up the ladder in a hurry. He made two stops in rookie ball, each one elevated. Then went to uh, double A, then triple A. Yamamoto pumps in another strike. Yamamoto also just noticing he's not going to give up very many stolen bases. He does not take a lot of time. He comes out of the stretch position. Uh, first base side of the rubber. He stretches. Uh, slide steps home and the ball hit down to third backhanded by Muncie. He goes to second one Taylor the turn action around the horn inning ending double play. A good debut first inning for Yamamoto. No score we head to the second inning. Would inquiring minds want to know during a regular season there is a ban on using electronic devices. But we've been able to see a sneak preview a couple of pitches we've been able to call. Jonah Heim, the catcher, yep. or and Nathaniel the, Lowe, rather, first baseman. And the ball. grip on that curveball was different. Yeah, it's a real 12 6 curveball. It, it'll drop. Oh, there you go. Lowe, just no chance at that one. That ball disappeared on him. More than anything else, in the pregame show, we're talking about, well, movement of the baseball. Now, track this. You can see in the glove, this is the splitter. And all of a sudden, disappears. Now, Jonah Heim lifts this one in the air to left field. Vargas back and Camped out underneath it makes the catch to that. Well, tell you what, he's done nothing but throw strikes. I mean, it, it, it's an incredible. First pitch strikes, batter after batter. Think about this: over seven years, he had a record of 70 and 29 and a 1.82 ERA. Leone Tavares, a switch hitter, batting left against Yamamoto, a five-time All-Star in Japan. Three times he was the Pacific League MVP. Three times he won the Sarmore Award. That's the equivalent of the Cy Young Award. Three times he was voted to the best nine over there. And three times he won a gold glove. So that's a good note as well. The fact that he won a gold glove three times. He defends his position. He's got two career no hitters. His last one came on the 23rd of September of last season. Against the, uh, against the Chiba Latte Marines. His first one was against the Cebu Lions in June of 22. 
And in game six of the Japan series last year, struck out 14. There's a splitter. That's just filthy. <laughs> As Tavares strikes out. Three strikeouts for Yamamoto. He's faced six men through two innings. But that second inning mo went so fast, I'm not sure he knew how many outs there were when he got his last strikeout. He was having so much fun. He's uh, thinking, well, I'll, I'll go ahead and get another out. Oh, wait a minute. Well, Tani said, hey, <laughs> that's three outs. 